this other episode of The Cheap Seat. Thank you for joining us. Look, this all started a few months ago when Channel 10 came to us and said... We've run out of NCIS. No, <laughs> Actually, vote of confidence from 10. We're still listed as NCIS. <laughs> Apparently the mystery they have to solve this week is how this show was commissioned. So, <laughs> that'll be a double episode. Basically, this is our look back on the last seven days of news, sport and showbiz from here and abroad. At the end of each episode, one of us will be voted out. So, <laughs> It's a short series. Can I, can I kick us off in South Africa, Mel, where there's been a week of widespread riots and looting and attempted looting? As some people are busy looting, that's a 58-centimetre <laughs> television. <laughs> 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 He just, he just really wants to watch NCIS, so <laughs> can't blame him. Actually, we looted this iPad, Yeah, we better so. get it back. But look, to the big news of the week, COVID and the spread of the Delta variant. And I'm more worried about the spread of Channel 9 reportage. Today, correspondent Lara Vella is at Liverpool Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently five are confirmed Stefanovics, so that is... <laughs> Look, as Sydney enters yet another week of lockdown, Alan Jones has a plan. If we are to disarm the fear and achieve a turning in the road out of this, let me make ten simple points. One... No, we, don't, we don't have time. We do need to move on. Don't now, have time. The big issue in Sydney is working out who's considered an essential worker. Essential workers. Up yeah, guys, good Queensland. morning. One of those essential... Everything very closely, morning. but... It's... Yep, go Tom, you've got the floor. I'm still, I'm still here, I'm yeah, still on, yeah. guys. Yeah, talk to one us. Of those is... <laughs> Look, so much confusion. Gretel Colleen calling for clarity, a point lost on her co-hosts. Get with it and mm. communicate properly with the people. Darren, uh, I want to ask you about something Matt, because... Matt, 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 the, 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 you go. <laughs> clarity, we need clarity. Look, Gladys Berejiklian put a complete ban on all construction and tradies are not happy. Many people will be very angry and upset. They are furious over these changes. I'm happy to take two weeks off and cruise around the house. <laughs> <laughs> tradies scramble to get their jobs done before the ban. All you could see was tradies driving and rushing to get the jobs there, yeah, but uh, trying to finish off what they can. Just trying to finish the jobs. <laughs> just, just good to see the cast of Here Come the Habibs back on the <laughs> It's good news. Look, not just construction workers, school kids are stuck at home as well, Mel. But this kid in the background's found something to do. You know, they've only been at school for three days this week. They had Monday off and um, they've just been on three weeks school holidays. <laughs> Less COVID, more foot and mouth disease. <laughs> Kids just want to get out and play, but authorities are pleading for common sense. Seven people in West Guildford who went out to play soccer yesterday in direct contradiction to the health orders uh, and didn't even have a soccer ball. <laughs> That's quite a complicated way to explain running. 